Hello and welcome to Comp. Hello. We're back. We're back on the main feed. We did Patreon before, but now we're back on the main feed. Baby. It's been a while. Yeah. Sh- How long? I don't know. Get excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Comp. Uh, welcome. We, you know, we've been, uh, things have been happening. All right. You know, I, I'm sorry. I can't go into every, you know, illicit, uh, deal. I do every, uh, you know, I, I'm behind the scenes. I'm producing, I'm creating content of a different sort. Uh, I'm not dealing drugs. I'm not killing women. <laughs> That's the rumors about on, on Facebook about that. Mm, me specifically. Yeah. People think I've killed you. <laughs> I'll never kill you. Never. You'll never die. <laughs> <laughs> um, how was your uh, week? Two weeks, whatever it's been. I, I, how you doing, Luz? People want to know how you doing. It, it's been good. Good. We, we, had a, <laughs> we had a great Columbus Day. I mean. Well, today's Columbus today Day. Today is Columbus Day. Uh, I prefer to call it Indigenous People's Day because I care. And I don't want to support a butcher. Like Columbus. He's an Italian-American hero. The Italian-Americans are known for their music sometimes, mm. for their chicken cacciatore, and for murder. <laughs> <laughs> murder uh, most foul. <laughs> I mean, is the, the, the Christopher Columbus, did he start the mafia? That we, know, we, all, we all know and love so much from the many saints of Newark. Mm. Is the many saints of Newark about, uh, an allegory for Christopher Columbus, the butcher? <laughs> um, I'm it, asking you. Well, it could be. We watched many saints of Newark. It didn't seem to make any sense. Maybe because we weren't thinking about it in the paradigm of it being about a guy who came and just killed so many Native Americans, personally raped his own mother. I've heard that. I've heard Christopher Columbus was the rapist of his own mother. Really? I mean, might as well be. Such a bad guy. Such a bad guy. <laughs> I mean, do, is there any defense for Christopher Columbus? Um, I mean, let me get this through. Let, let me get this on, on the record here. He came to America. Uh, people claim that he, oh, he convinced people the world was round. No, that's a myth. Everyone knew the world was round. Back to the Greeks. The Greek. Uh, yeah, but then we decided that was bullshit, and then we needed to be convinced again. I don't believe that. I think any educated person in 1492 or whatever the fuck knew that the world was round. The only one, the, you think they were sitting there in the palace of Isabella and Ferdinand <laughs> of, of the Spanish Empire and going, like Kyrie, like Kyrie Irving, the, the basketball boy, going, the world's flat. We, we, we live on the top of a turtle. Well, didn't they think it was like pear-shaped? I mean, it is kind of pear-shaped, isn't it? No. 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 <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it it's, took it's, me a second, but no. I mean, I, look, it's no, bl- it's no blade spheroid. It's not exactly a, a circle. It's not round, per se. Well, is there is there such a That's thing? That's one of those things you tell, like, a, you're at a bar, and some, guys are, like, some guy says the world's round, like, oh, there's actually no blade spheroid, and he stabs me because he thinks I'm trying to fuck his girl. <laughs> And then I, but I take the knife out of my own bloody stomach. And I, I lick the blood and I walk away. <laughs> Just so they know that he didn't win either. Mm. And I die in the parking lot. <laughs> anyway. Is that like a Steve Jobs thing where they, they have Stabbing to make, someone? They, they have to make it a little bit oblong because that way it looks like a perfect circle? Yeah, well, it's like that movie. It's like the kid's like, you know, and, and, and Steve Jobs, the film, uh, the little, his little girl is asking about the square, what was it, the next computer? And she's like, why? It's not a square. I the measured Lucy. it. No, that wasn't the Lucy. It w- wasn't it called the Lucy? He had no, he had a computer called the Lisa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to cram yourself in any situation, don't you? It's the Lucy <laughs> from, from the maker of the Lisa, which failed. <laughs> the Lucy. <laughs> no, it was called Next. It was the it was a computer he made after he left Apple the first time. Right, right. And uh, be, and before but before he returned and then died of cancer because he started sucking on sassafras roots or whatever instead of getting chemo. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm not trying to laugh at the guy, but you know, uh, did he even try weed? Because like I know there's a lot of like this theories about weed. I don't think weed cancer. like cures cancer. Did I think he really just suck on leaves. I mean, I don't know. He but he might have smoked weed. He probably smoked weed all day. 
And that's where he got the idea to fucking make my battery just stop working after a year. <laughs> Piece of shit. I'm not glad he's dead, but I mean, who? If, if I ever was glad someone was dead, this motherfucker. Anyway, wasn't called the Lisa or the Lucy. It was called the next. <laughs> and uh, it, 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 was, it was supposed to be a perfect cube, but it wasn't. It was, it was, it was measured differently. Because it, it was the illusion. Otherwise, your brain... Pre- but that's not what's happening here. Christopher Columbus was a scumbag mm. who, you know, acting like, hey, yo, yo, oh, the world is round. <laughs> and they're like, we've all been to whatever the equivalent of college is in 1492. Is it college? I don't know. <laughs> Do they have college back then? The sailor school. You mean, we all went to sailor school, you dumb fuck. <laughs> what do you think? We sail around and don't know how the horizon works? We know how it works. We, you... you I mean, anyone who worked on the sea would know that. Mm. I mean, you just, you, you, things disappear over the horizon. What do you think they go? Oh, yeah, but you don't always think about those things or put two and two together. You just think, you're like the liberal elites who think that everyone who has a blue collar job is a fucking moron. <laughs> Which is like, <laughs> they'll never understand. They probably think some kind of weird goat, magical goat spits, spits vapor and makes the ships disappear. Yeah. They don't understand, like, this is curvature. How would they chart like long, like how would they how would they do anything on the sea if they, they thought it was flat? Well, they, these... most of them didn't, right? Didn't most of them just die of scurvy? No, I mean, look, they they found they they went places. I mean, they'd been to China at that point, maybe over the land. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, but they were just going the whole time. They were just fixating on like, what are you gonna do with all those spices we're gonna get? <laughs> and it's like, but you know. And they're just in. Well, yeah, I mean, did, did, they, did the Columbus go to the New World just to get MSG? <laughs> <laughs> like I tell you, this general chicken fucking sucks. We need to get something, <laughs> some a little kick to it, and it might give you a headache. But I mean, whatever. <laughs> um, ribs. <laughs> what else do he like? Yeah, he, he like he like he like kung pao chicken. Yeah, can't do that with salt, can you, <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker? Uh, so I don't know. I mean, Lucy's of the opinion that this romantic uh, Columbus guy, who probably wasn't very good looking, I'm just guessing. Probably look like a snail, <laughs> and uh, he, he 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 marched into the royal court and said, "Oh, you know the world's uh, it's not flat." And then like you know, and then he's trying to fucking shove his finger up like the the princess's fucking pussy, and you're like, "What are you doing?" Oh, I'm a time, I'm romantic. <laughs> oh, 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 I can't I can't serenade the princess Isabella. Puh, 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 puh. Fangu. Oh, Fangu, here's a fist in your pussy. Let me give me some money for the ocean. <laughs> Look, I'm not I'm not a Christopher Columbus apologist. You're a stan. I'm not a stan. You're I- shipping yourself <laughs> Christopher Columbus. <laughs> but we have heard, like... It's, back in 1492, Christopher Columbus, Lucy Blue. <laughs> right? Yeah. Get that goo. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Dice Columbus. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Uh, we have I, both seen that essay. Should I try that, Andrew Dice Columbus? It was a risky maneuver here. You should do it. Do more. Oh, the world's not flat, but your mother's chest is. Oh. <laughs> oh. He probably, if, if, I mean, what would you, if, Andrew Dice Columbus probably, I'm not saying Andrew Dice Clay is a pedophile. I don't think he is. Pretty sure he's not. But I think Andrew Dice Columbus would be. So I don't want to keep doing it. Yeah. I don't want, I don't want to have to do pedophile jokes about him. Well, he did say something about like uh, z- z- prostituting out fourteen-year-old girls or something. He did. Did you guys play? No, uh, no, 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 Columbus. Oh, Columbus. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do? What did he say? He said something about how like oh we could like make sex slaves of all these little girls. Really? Yeah. About fourteen-year-old girls. But there's there's some people have argued that a lot of those. I mean, posts- technically, does that make him a hebophile? <laughs> you want to be that guy? Well, technically, he's a hebophile. <laughs> Cause that's like a teenager, right? Uh, Oh, I don't know. Does that count for fourteen or has to be sixteen? I don't know. I haven't researched hemophilia because I'm not one. <laughs> Wait, isn't hemophilia when you bleed a lot? That's hemophilia. I'm uh, talking about hemophilia. Hebo- oh yeah. Hebophile. It's like the, it's like that guy in the first episode of The Shield who's like, I like him older, <laughs> <laughs> like thirteen, <laughs> and, and, and they all get you know shit, Vic Mackey. Anyway. Christopher Columbus is in the New World. There were some arguments. There, look, there are people who argue that a lot of those quotes are taken out of context. And what saying, quotes? Ones where he's like, I'm going to fuck your mother's pussy with her bat? 
that taken out of context? I'm going to turn your daughter into a whore? Is that taken out of context? <laughs> Hi, I'm Christopher Columbus, and I'm here to rape you. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. Look, if, if, look, if you look at the times, the kind of people you're comparing them to, they're all saying that. That's he just, was a joker, okay? Yeah. Hey, who wants to get... He shows up at the New World, where he thinks it's New Jersey, but it's really uh, Tahiti, or whatever the fuck happened. Mm. Or Bermuda, right? He wasn't in. He never made it to the American mainland. It was. Uh, do you know what it was? With the Barbados, or something. Something. Turks and Caicos, <laughs> perhaps. And he shows up and sees the natives and he goes, "Who wants to get raped? <laughs> I'm Columbus. I'll be here all night." Uh, no, but th- some people say like the quotes about, "Oh, I could subdue them with ten men," or like, "Or, or, or oh, prosecuting these, the, the, ch- the children." That was all the stuff that he was saying we shouldn't do. Like, that would be bad if it happened, so we shouldn't do that. <laughs> I, 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 to, to break the fourth wall, there are there's a guy uh, whose video I saw on YouTube. Mm. Do, we, do we give him a shout-out? Do you I, remember his name? It's been a while I, since I, I watched it. A rapist and a creep. Yeah, I don't want to give him a shout-out per se. But he claimed that a lot of these taken out of context. And I don't know, because it's like, how does that work? Like... It's, it's like a mob guy. It's a guy who's showing up going, it'd be a shame if I subdued you with 10, you know, <laughs> ten soldiers. Oh, you're taking that out of context. I was saying I wouldn't do it. <laughs> what else did he take out of context? <laughs> the, fact, the fact that he was fucking himself in the ass with some severed hand of a 14-year-old whore he fucking pimped out in the first place. Taking it out of context. He actually saved her first and then pimped her out. He saved her from some other explorer. Some fucking America Vespucci. America Vespucci was fucking doing ass ass videos with her. And he stopped it. He said, Don't do that. And he fucking took her and didn't, didn't release her. And then cut her hand off and started fisting himself. <laughs> but he saved her first. You don't understand. Um, I mean, look, I, I think in general is a good rule to not. Can celebrate. we show this in classrooms, this video here? <laughs> like, you know, teachers, take a, take a day off. We're going to learn about Columbus. I just show him this video. <laughs> <laughs> um, in, in general, I think it's a good rule to just like not celebrate explorers. Well, that's why it's, it's yeah. Anyone I mean, who goes out to explore is going to do some murder. I mean, look, there are no explorers anymore. They're all peeping toms, <laughs> right? It's just fucking and Wait, voyeurs. Who, who are you thinking of specifically? Anyone who just goes explore. I mean, if you're exploring nowadays, you're just a voyeur, mm. right? If you, I'm going to go explore downtown Detroit. You're looking for fucking underage prostitutes probably. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> what are you, what, who are you thinking of though? You're just thinking of guys who go to Thailand? Well, really? no, one, no one calls himself an explorer anymore, but if you did, that's what I would think you were doing. Mm. I'm going to explore Times Square. Well, good luck. It's all become shrimp now. But it used to be something you could explore and get some kind of hooker and a knife. And the same, you buy a knife and you get a hooker. Don't stab the hooker. No. I'm just saying, but you could buy a knife. All I remember, people lament. Look, but let's get real. Times Square does suck now. <laughs> but people do lament. Like, you used to be able to get a horse there and buy pocket switchblades. It's like, it doesn't seem like something that should be dead center in the, in the biggest city in the world. <laughs> Right, like, I'm not saying you should have bubblegum shrimp and like uh, who's the guy Guy Fie- Guy Fieri's flavor bomb, whatever it's called, <laughs> flavor castle. Did they have restaurants there, or were, was it just the? It's probably some fucking you know, noodle shop where a whore could like you know wash a pussy out in the bathroom. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, it was a dangerous place. I don't know where we got this idea that like. What if we kept the Disney stuff? But brought back the prostitutes. That would be, I mean, and they go, oh, so they could dress up like Belle from uh, Beauty and the yeah, Beast. Yeah, like they have to do double duty. Double dong duty. Double dong duty. Yeah. As, as a, the, the play actors, but then they're also getting fucked. So the whores are talking to my kids? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good idea. I want to be able to take, I oh, want well, Look, it's better than the Elmos that go around molesting people. Uh, I was hitting the thing because it goes in the screensaver mode. Uh, you got to learn how to stop that. Uh, I don't want an Elmo who's been sucking off some guy from Detroit for five bucks to be talking to my kids, spitting cum all over his. I got nothing against it. Two guys want to pay each other to suck off one or the other. Who who's? I mean, whether you're paying a sucker gets sucked, that's fine with me. Look, it's, I'm, I'm just, just saying, saying you can I have don't want him like, spitting blood and cum into my kid's face. I think you can have it one of two ways right now. Either either the Elmos are molesting people against their will, or 
they were doing double dong duty and and h- holding hands with the kids and then sucking people off for five dollars. I think it's it will a- also de incentivize the molestation because you're not going to give it away from free if you know that somebody's going to pay you. Wait, wait, so some kid, some kid <laughs> is going to have the wherewithal to be like, because prostitution's legal in Times Square, he's going to be like, hey, Elmo, you're getting paid. Why am I not getting paid? <laughs> <laughs> what is, is there a union? Well, well, is there a kid prostitute union now? The, the kids will obviously grow up more quickly, but uh, you know, I don't want them to grow up. I want them to grow up in a bubble. <laughs> uh, and I don't want them to know anything about you know sleepy oh, Joe why Biden. Do you want a bunch of bubble boys with their participation trophy? Yes, I want. I, I, I want. I make, got this trophy, even though I suck nobody off. I'm not gonna let my kid ever get over on me, and so he's gonna grow up coddled and weak, mm. and, and 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 I'm gonna put. I'm going to uh, open the windows in the winter <laughs> or when it's raining so he gets black mold in his, his room so he gets asthma. <laughs> How is that calling him? <laughs> <laughs> it's just, whatever, it's just weakening him. <laughs> I don't want my boy to, to be to be threatening to burn my house down <laughs> like I did with my mother. <laughs> All right, there's a, there's a method to this. You, uh, you be me and I'll be my, me, I'll be me, you be my son. <laughs> Go. Okay. Say I'm gonna burn your house hey, down. Hey, oh, hey, Dad. <coughs> Sorry, the black mold is really getting to my lungs. Yeah. <coughs> I'm gonna burn your <coughs> house down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got your inhaler, bitch. Oh no. See, that's how it works. And I crush it with one hand because I've been taking steroids. <laughs> I'm almost gonna start. I, it's a two fold plan. I'm gonna weaken my child and start taking steroids and working out. But mostly <laughs> taking steroids and meth. <laughs> I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a good dad. I'm gonna love him. But if he ever tries to get aggressive with me, oh boy, oh boy, because it's gonna <laughs> look. We're gonna have water shortages. We're gonna have climate change. We're gonna have uh, roving gangs of, of of violence, right? Yeah. And Columbus types, you know, who want to explore in my house. And you want to prepare him for that by by slowly breaking down his internal organs. No, well, here's the thing: he, you can't afford. You, you, you're thinking too small. I'm thinking big. Okay. I'm a big picture boy. All right. Now you think, oh, you want to toughen him up, but I have a game plan. I know where I buried the guns. I know where I buried our gold. I know where I buried our medicine. Right. And he's gonna <laughs> go. I don't need him in puberty years going like I want to go get pussy. I'm not gonna listen to you, old man. I need to keep my boot on his neck to keep him safe, okay. but also me safe from him. So it's a twofold thing, but he's just fucking with my. I got, I got you to worry about. Okay. You want our boy to be fucking up our, our plans in the post apocalypse, or or, po- or just gradual decline? I, look, I just think maybe we could talk to him, level with him, and go, go. Look, it's a different. You're growing up in a hard time. Here's how I level with them. Hey, boy, you're 16 now. It's time for you to know. I've been giving you black mold in your room for years. <laughs> I've been teaching you lies. I've been. Doing- <laughs> I've been doing steroids and working out and taking meth. You don't want to fuck with me. <laughs> Listen to what I say, boy. All right. <laughs> will, you, will you teach him how to fight and for other situations? Like, I, like when, I'll teach him how to fight just like what if enough. an aggressor comes into the house and you're not there? I want him to bear, put. I, I, I've built a little box for him to go into. <laughs> okay. it, it's a little, it'll slip in. He'll be small. I'm not going to feed him a lot. He'll stay skinny, you know, like me, and he can slip inside this. <laughs> he will slip inside this box. So, in a post-apocalyptic scenario with all these challenges, yeah, it'll be like a mailbox, strength-based like, challenges. Yeah. You basically you want to turn our child into a into a little golem type creature. Yes, yes. <laughs> I built him. Think, think of like an outside mailbox, right? But a slot big enough for him, and it's got like <laughs> levers he can pull that will like drop acid from the ceiling or something. <laughs> <laughs> like things that like, like, like oh, he's like the little guy in the big machine. Yeah, but it doesn't yeah. move. He's just in the stationary box. Right. <laughs> and he's like, you know, it'll keep him alive for a while. I mean, where am I? Going? I'm not gonna be going out that often. It's a, <laughs> it's a post-apocalypse or just the slow again, the slow decline of America. What if we're out on a date? We're out on a post-apocalyptic date. Where are we gonna be going to the fucking dump? <laughs> yeah, we'll go to the dump to shoot All right, rats. Well, 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 look, he'll, he'll, one of the levers will be a flare that'll go up in the sky, a flare gun that rigs the ceiling. Okay. And it'll shoot in the air. They'll go, oh, our boy's in trouble. Hope he, he's alive when we get back. And then, you know, and we won't leave our date early. I'll just know to have my knife ready. Yeah, okay. Or my gun ready, you know, so I can get the jump on these guys. <laughs> what are we talking about? Okay. <laughs> so, um. but Columbus... 
Columbus. <laughs> Columbus. Um, I don't think he's a role model. No. I mean, look. <laughs> Would you imagine? Columbus is like Eminem. He's like, I never said I was a role model, yeah. yo. <laughs> yo, honey, he was rapping. Columbus was rapping in the parking lot <laughs> or parking garage, wherever it was. <laughs> What was that thing he did like a few years ago? Where he just oh, rap, rap oh about, that was terrible. Rapping about Trump in the parking lot. <laughs> I draw a line in the sand here. I'm in really, the, you didn't draw it? At, you know, to fantasizing about killing your wife. <laughs> I'm in the parking garage next to Louis Vuitton. Listen to me, Trump. You're not the Don. <laughs> <laughs> my kids uh, are. My kids got more money than the Kardashians. Uh, I suck. my... No, I'm not gonna keep going. <laughs> but anyway, uh, like, how is he? Oh my god, you rich boy, rich Eminem. He's taking gold. His mother's eating gold plated Vicodin now in heaven. <laughs> is she alive still? I don't. I don't know. My mom takes Vicodin. All right, a lot of people think Vicodin. Right. Doesn't he kill all the women in his life? I mean, there was songs. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Mama. Where's Tupac? Right? I'm uh, sorry, Mama. No, 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 that's Eminem. No, I Tupac, never Tupac to, wrote a song called Mama. I never meant to hurt you. All these guys are fucking mama. Who did that boys. one? That, that was Eminem. That's not Eminem. That's Topac. No. <laughs> That's Topaz. <laughs> Topaz. No, no, Tupac had a song called Mama. Ma, why was he always out of breath, Tupac? Hello, Mama. <laughs> that's, not, that's not Tupac. That's Eminem. Eminem. Mama. Hello, Mama. I just want to talk to you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm not saying it's gonna impression me. He had that cadence. He had that weird, like, oh, and now I'm gonna talk about staying off drugs. Wow. Like, everything was stretched out. Yeah. I can't think of, I mean, I'm not a rapper, so I can't think of lines off the top of my head. Tupac's song about his mother was a nice song about her coming home. Mom. She was a, she was a strong woman. She, she was actress. great. If you, she, she was a Black Panther. Yeah. And she, uh, didn't, she did some great stuff in the 70s. Yeah. Anyway. But. <laughs> Um, but much like Native Americans, she got fucked over. Yes. Yeah. I mean, do you think Native Americans should get stuff now? <laughs> sure. Like, like for early access to the PS5. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Yeah. I mean, why don't we give like, you like that? Why don't we give sneakers to Native Americans now? Like help them become like, like hype beasts or, uh, <laughs> or like just give them like cool stuff that will get them friends. Kids, I mean, you know, like give them like really fly shoes, give them supreme sweatshirts. I'd be fine with that, sure. Also, you know, some land I get, but just give them, give them a fucking. Well, you had the great idea of giving them the national park. I know. I'm, 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 I am the most pro. I'm more pro Native Americans than Native Americans are. I don't see them asking for national parks. Well, I mean, that's a, that's a nice thing. That's like me saying. How is, how is that going to be taken out of context? Am I going to be canceled because I said I care more about Native Americans than Native Americans do? Is that going to get me canceled because I love too much? It's a, it's a little white savory, but... No, I mean, I'm like Lawrence of Arabia. <laughs> what, was Lawrence of Arabia a white savior? I don't know. Yeah, but didn't Lawrence of Arabia like abandon the... Arabia? What happened? We just watched the movie. We told them. <laughs> we just watched it last night and this morning. They all left. They were like, fuck this. Well, no, like some of them were, were, were raiding shit. Right? Like, they, they were looting the, the trains that they were blowing up. Oh, but Prince Faisal took over. What? Prince Faisal was always kind of in charge. You know, he was the king. Yeah, but he really took over in the but end. But you know, he became, like, the king of... He was like, diplomacy is for old men. Yeah, but you know, you know who he is, right? What? You know who he, that guy is, right? Alec Guinness. Yeah, I mean, he played him. But you know who, like, King Faisal <laughs> is, right? Uh, not really. He, took, he, he was the first sovereign of Saudi Arabia. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, you know... I'm not sure what I'm trying to say. How, how did they get Saud there, then? Who was Saud? I don't know. We'll look into that for next week's episode. We'll explore the house of Saud. Uh, so Columbus, yay or nay? I, I would say nay. Yeah, but I mean, do you think we should tear his statues down? Sure. Why not just... <laughs> why not just... See, if I was in the government, I would keep the statues up, but I'd put dildos in his mouth. Oh. <laughs> That's so much more humiliating. Yeah, right? Yeah. Or it shouldn't be. Is that, is that but gay? That's, is that homophobic? That's gay panic. It is gay panic. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> that's just. Well, I, no, why should we suck off a dildo in public, though, right? <laughs> like do you ever, like. Do you, I, don't, I didn't say a fake dick. I, 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 I statues, a, a dick statue. A dildo. No one should be sucking a dildo off in public, right? <laughs> I mean, I'm not gay panicky, but I mean, maybe you're right. But what should we do then? Well. Do you mind that statues get torn down? 
Does it bother you? No, 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 not in general. No, I'm not really bothered by it. I mean, I mean, I guess like technically you shouldn't set the president for like tearing down public property, but like, oh yeah, whatever. I mean, oh, should people <laughs> tear? I don't. I don't think people should be tearing down statues like in mobs, probably. Yeah, but maybe then, not. But then again, like stop putting up statues to in, 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 you know uh, intimidate people too. Right. They were doing, like, a lot of these statues went up because uh, just to fuck with people, right? You were saying that one, one time? Well, yeah, like, a lot of them went up in, like, the early 1900s or whatever, because, like, in response to, like, the first civil rights movement. Yeah, I don't know. It's all, it They're all like, seemed... well, why don't you take a look at this? <laughs> or... Hey, look at this guy. <laughs> 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 oh, you want to you vote? Why don't you look at, look at this guy over here? <laughs> he, don't, he don't want you to vote. <laughs> it's, it all seems very weird. Um, I don't know. <clears throat> But the Columbus statue specifically. <laughs> so what suck should we do? Suck on this. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you suck on this statue? It's just Columbus's dick. Yeah. It's just a phantom. It's just a dick in the... In the uh, anyway. This is not the Columbus statue. This is like the Confederate statues. But the same deal, I guess. I, uh, I mean, Were the Columbus, Columbus statues put up to intimidate Native Americans? I don't think so. I think Italians just paid for it. Yeah. <laughs> He's the one guy they got. You got him, <laughs> you got him and like, yo, uh, Joe Gallo. <laughs> Crazy Joe Gallo. <laughs> The, with the, the Mayo crew. Remember, <laughs> remember that Mark, the Mark de Mayo, the crazy mobster, who's the, he has the, the the Mayo method, right? With the Gemini <laughs> method, where he would kill people in his in his bar, and they would eat, eat pizza while they let the blood drain out of the body. And what? He, Why is that called the Gemini method? Because it's the Gemini bar. Oh. And he, there was the Gemini twins who would work for him, and they would just these two. Tw- I don't know if they were twins or not, but they were two brothers. The Gemini boys. The Gemini twins, they're called. But if they're not twins, they should be the Gemini boys. All right, but I mean, it's a, it's a great name. <laughs> I love the Gemini twins. You think it's better than the Gemini boys? I mean, look, I, I, I call everyone boys in this podcast, but uh, in this case, sure, the Gemini boys. <laughs> um, moving on. Uh, I guess we'll talk about this guy here is our new, or this week's Batman. You always got to touch him. You always got to play with him. <laughs> it, this is, They're fun. This is called Crow Robin. Ah, uh, he, that scared me. He, he's the Robin from the uh, Dark Knights uh, Metal uh, series when the, the, the dark multiverse starts coming and invading uh, our universe, I guess. And they're trying to... I forget what they're trying to do. Are they robins that have their souls have been stolen? I don't know if they're even robins. I know, like, because it's bat. There's a Batman who's a Green Lantern, basically. There's a he steals a power ring, like some Green Lantern. I mean, it's not. It, look, this is not Proust writing this stuff, right? I mean, I like it, but it's not. It's not uh, George Bernard Shaw. Who is he? He's a writer, right? He wrote uh, Joan of Arc, right? What did he write? Joan of Arc, I the don't play. Know. Anyway, point is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some of it's clumsy, clunky writing. So, yeah. you know, the, the, like uh, Bruce Wayne's parents get killed and uh, some Green Lantern comes to help him and he just steals his ring. Mm. And then he comes, uh, you know, starts killing people. That kind of shit happens. There's a, there's a fucking, uh, the Batman who got, jo- the Batman who laughs, who, who controls these things. There's three of them. Is a Batman who laughs a Batman? He's, yeah, he's a, he's a Bruce Wayne, but he got... Infected with Joker toxin, and he became the worst Batman, worse than the Joker. Ugh. It's crazy. His, uh, and he, he looks just like the guy from Lord of the Rings, uh, at the gates of uh, Sauron's. What they got? Sauron the uh, Mordor. It, yeah. I shouldn't drink coffee before I do this. <laughs> uh, so he's he look. I don't know. He looks like a sex gimp, though, right? Yeah. He looks like he's like you know the Joker's. Oh gonna, man, does the Joker fuck these? I mean, if you look at the pictures, there's three of them. And they're all little, you know, these little Kroger bo- Robin boys. Mm. Do you think the Joker, I mean, the Joker would have to fight. I mean, it's really Bruce Wayne, though. Does the Joker ever do sex stuff? Well, I guess he, he makes, he, he strips Barbara Gordon, right? Does he? And p- takes pictures of her? Oh, to clear something up, yeah, I, I, I called you out last time, I think, because uh, I said that Barbara Gordon didn't fuck Bruce Wayne in the Killing Joke con- uh, cartoon, I guess. Mm. And apparently he does. Yes. So Lucy was right about that. Uh, I don't know why they would make, add that to the fucking thing. <laughs> it sounds crazy. It's like, hey, DC, like we're trying to, we, we want to fucking, uh, you know, make this more adult. How about Bruce Wayne fucks the girl? <laughs> well, she's like a young girl. Fuck it. I mean, he's supposed to be a good guy. 
fucks her. So she's so young. <laughs> she's she's legal. We'll, 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 we'll retcon this so she's legal. <laughs> Barely legal barber. <laughs> People were tagging me in this story about a wedding photographer. Because I used to be a wedding photographer. Oh, yeah. He's one of your, your kindred travelers. What? Your fellow travelers. Fellow traveler? What am I? Like a, like a gypsy? Your fellow craftsman. Like an Irish, Irish gypsy? <laughs> Uh, a wedding photographer who, uh, what was the story? Do you remember? No. What? He was invited to a wedding. Okay. This guy. Oh, yeah. And uh, then they asked him, hey, even though he wasn't a photographer per se, can you shoot this thing? We'll give you like 250 bucks or something like that. And so he's shooting his wedding. He's probably doing terrible work, by the way. You know, it's not, I mean, I, I'm, I'm an experienced wedding photographer, I know how to fucking, you know, pose the, the fat old mom and the stupid uncle. Yeah. And, like, get him to look at the camera and focus properly. Um, you know. And uh, help me out here. So they pay him, like, 250 bucks, which is not a lot. Right. Right. And, and so he goes to, like, take oh, so a bathroom break or something? No, he goes to eat. He goes, like, yo, it's time to eat. And uh, the guy... The groom tells him, "You can't, <laughs> you can't eat." And here's the thing: we didn't, we didn't get you a meal. And not only that, if you try to take a break, we're not going to pay you for these pictures. Uh, and the guy got so mad that he just deleted all the pictures in front of the guy. Wow! He's like, "Hey, look at that! Look at that cock! Fucker! That boom!" <laughs> there were your pictures. Yeah. There were your pick. There, there, there's your fat mom and your stupid uncle. Now they're gone. Uh, and he was on Reddit, I guess, and it blew up. What do you think of this story? Do you think this guy did the right thing or not? Oh well, I mean, I think it, the, not letting him eat a meal is crazy. I mean, you got to eat a meal when you were like shooting things professionally, right? It's it's it's, it's definitely standard to. Uh, I remember one. I knew a guy, uh, a different wedding photographer, who cl- claimed that he. Uh, one time they tried not to feed him, and mm. so he went to Boston Market next door or something, and he got, like, a big bag of Boston Market food, and he just carried it into the fucking catering hall <laughs> just to be a dick. And, uh, yeah, and like and, and just fucking started eating chicken bones in the middle of the dais probably or some shit. Mm. I mean, if it was me, I'll, I'll, I'll go into this in a minute. I knew another guy who said, like, they gave him, like, finger sandwiches or whatever, or it was, like, sandwiches. Right. And uh, he went to go grab a beer from the bar, and the, and the groom was like, oh, they, they feed you and everything? They're like, oh, yeah, we got sandwiches in the back. Like, sandwiches? <laughs> I paid for fucking real food. And then they uh, they got him a table and everything. Huh. Because the camera call was trying to get over. Oh. Uh, you know, like, well, we're not going to. I mean, how much is this stupid f- This food's never good. That's the thing. The food they serve you is barely ever good. Uh, the wedding food? Yeah. Yeah. So, point is. What's my point? I mean, the other crazy thing is that this is like a friend of theirs, right? Yeah, suppose we're <laughs> so they're trying to like work their friend. Here's what I would do: you be the guy. I'll, I'll be the fucking photographer. Okay. Hi, uh, you know, well, I'm, I'm just gonna take a break to eat. See, that's the thing. Here, I can't even put myself in this guy's shoes because I would just show up at the buffet and be <laughs> like, uh, you know, start eating food. Right. Try to the first dance. <laughs> <laughs> Or like, or like, you know, if, if it's like, I would just go in the kitchen and be like, hey, can I get a fucking, you know, a mound of beef <laughs> on a roll or whatever. But I mean, I wouldn't like, ask the groom, but the groom, you be the groom. Okay. Hey, I got, I'm going to take a break to eat dinner now. I'm the photographer, by the way. Hi, photographer. Hello. Such my friend. You can take a break or we're not going to pay you. I hope I, that, I, mean, how about, how about I suck off your mom. Oh, you would, you would do that? <laughs> I, would, I would do that. <laughs> I would suck off your mom, fist your dad, anything, <laughs> anything, anything, anything to eat right now. I'd love to eat. <laughs> let me, let me, come on, how, what, what if I fucking, what if I uh, take a picture of my of, of, of you having sex with me and blackmail you? <laughs> Okay, here's the, here's what I wonder. You see, you're breaking character. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you would do that. 
No, never mind. You can have all the lobster roll you want. Lobster roll? Is that American Legion, by the way? Oh, okay. So it wasn't very good. Yeah. Who are those four? I guess people have no money. <laughs> <laughs> Who are those four? <laughs> I'm from Long Island, and I shot on Long Island, and like... We take weddings very seriously over there. We don't take marriage very seriously, but we take weddings very seriously. <laughs> and they all cost like 50 grand or something. And like no one has... American legions are not like nice places typically. Oh, I mean, yeah. I went to a wedding on Long Island once and like it's it's, it's like stacked. Stacked? What, they're, they're, they have stacked weddings. Like tits? Like they did They did the whole, uh, you know, where where the, uh, the, the best man molests the maid of honor. Oh, like, the, uh, yeah. like, like I've never seen that at a wedding before. Really? Yeah. I've seen what my boss used to do a trick where he would blindfold the groom or <laughs> was, was it the groom. Yeah, He would blindfold the, gro- uh, the, who are, uh, the guy who catches the bouquet. Uh huh. No. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> so the woman throws the bouquet, right? Yeah. Woman catches the bouquet. Mm-hmm. Then the groom fucking shoves his hands up the, the wife's pussy and pulls off her underwear garter. Okay. Right? The thing's on a leg or whatever. Oh, I thought it was the best man who did that to the maid of honor. No. He, then, the, then the groom tosses that like the bouquet. Okay. And then someone catches that, and the guy who catches it shoves it up the pussy of some other girl. Oh, okay. I mean, really up the leg. Up Got the leg. It. And depending on the MC. It's how, how 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 sexy you want to make it, right? Mm. Shove it up higher. <laughs> Shove it next to a pussy. Come on, this is a wedding. We got to get this girl going. <laughs> we got to get some fucking juices flowing. <laughs> uh, make her, make her, make her fucking, make her wet like prime rib. <laughs> Just fucking me. I love the, we should do a wedding I should become a wedding MC. Yeah. I'm just like, go on, make this pussy wet. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> no, but you shove it up the leg, and sometimes guys go a little frisky with it, you know? Right. But my boss used to shove a blindfold on the fucking guy. Mm. And you go, hey, this will be even sexier. You won't know until you reach that wet pussy, right? <laughs> but really, he took the groom and put him in, in that spot. And oh. so, and so he'd be shoving. I forget. Like I guess, I guess they would uh, get to the ankle, or whatever, and realize the guys weren't pants. But it, it made for good pictures. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> and then the DJ. It wasn't my like, joke. I, I'm, this is not my like version of like, the Impractical Jokers. I didn't do this. <laughs> and then the DJ goes like, "Ah, they're gay. <laughs> <laughs> gay panic. <laughs> Welcome to Long Island, boys. <laughs> get them." Uh. Um. Yeah. Why, why do you put a gun in your mouth? You're gay. <laughs> oh, if that was me, I'd shoot myself right in the... <laughs> I'd shoot myself... If I thought I was getting some wet pussy in my hands and end up being some guy's shin, I'd shoot myself in the mouth. <laughs> Long Island. Um, but yeah, I don't, it seems like a very sketchy... This guy... Okay, here's my, what, my theory. Yeah. Is this guy? Is it possible that this guy was some kind of like former boyfriend of the of the of the wife of the bride, and that the guy the groom was trying to get over on him and kind of put him in his place? You know, what you're not gonna do. You know, what you're not gonna do here. What? Two things. What? You're not gonna fuck my wife anymore, and you're not gonna eat. <laughs> That's what you're not gonna do. Those two things. I'm gonna make sure. Of it. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, that yeah. seems like a really weird way to. Guy. Yeah. Please take our pictures and then, you know, you can't have any of this ragu. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking, this, this, this penny out of vodka. Um, I mean, do you think the guy should have deleted the pictures, even though he's oh, yeah. mad? Some people say he should have held them hostage. No, nah, he should have deleted the pictures. Yeah. No, I, I, I like that. That's yeah, fun. baller move. Yeah. You know what I would have done? I would have swapped the card out. The card that I'm like, I, I always kept, I always kept a card full of pictures of my own asshole. <laughs> I was like, here's your, here's your wife, here's your wife, and it's a picture of my asshole. <laughs> so he here, look at this, and he was like, what's going on? Like, I want to eat, I want to eat. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Give me food. I mean, it just seems like a weird. I would I was I would never like I would just eat really quick. Mm. I would never like I wouldn't be sitting there like a fucking king. Well, yeah, that's the other thing. What was the guy asking for? Did he want like an hour long break where he's just eating meat, where he's just uh, stuffing his face with <laughs> <Rolls>. <laughs> meatball parm? Can I have some more rolls, please? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you you get a nice little break. You get a half an hour. I mean, 
there's nothing to do while people are fucking eating. You don't want to like you start doing if you're not done with the table pictures at that point, you can do some during dinner, but you don't want to do it while they're eating. You gotta do it at the tail end of dinner if you're gonna do anything there because mm-hmm. people want to eat. You don't want to be stopping them going like, oh, it, it, like is there a fucking Long Island monsters? You don't want to be fucking you know. Uh, interrupting their eggplant parm, you know, when you get in a picture of Uncle Tony, you know, and, he's, and they're, they're all like drunk and they're yelling at you. Mm. It's no good. Kidneys. Kidneys. We have a story about kidneys. This is your cue. Oh. <laughs> well, so what, there's a, that woman who was denied a kidney. Yes. Because she wouldn't get the coronavirus. So a woman was denied reasons. a kidney. <laughs> what? What are you laughing at? <laughs> a woman. <laughs> what? What? Why is it so funny? <laughs> uh, no, it's just funny. Like, uh, you're like, yeah, you go. Okay. A woman was denied uh, access to a kidney that she was supposed to get. Yeah. Right? She was a- Access to it being put in her. This Body. woman wanted a kidney. I think she was sick, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. She she had a disease, and she wanted to get some kidney put in there, and they said no. Not until you get vaccinated, bitch. Yeah. Uh, That's the story, basically? Yeah. And she didn't want to get vaccinated for religious reasons, but I don't know specifically what religious reasons. What's the religion? Uh, Christian Science Monitor? <laughs> Whatever the fuck. Um, how can you be against vax? I don't. Who has a religious objection to a, a fucking vaccine, but not a kidney transplant? Right. Yeah. That seems. I mean, I'll, I'm all. I was about to start trashing the rules here. Right. But that being said, who the fuck? How can you be opposed to the vaccine religiously? What religion is this? <laughs> like, because Christian scientists wouldn't take a kidney a transplant, would they? Well, like um, like a Jehovah's Witness or whatever. Well, Christian scientists. Do Christian scientists not like vaccines? I thought that I thought they were kind of moderate. They don't like any medicine. Oh, really? Don't you remember too big to fail and Hank Paulson wouldn't even take sleep sleep pills? Oh, right, right, okay. Yeah. Um. Not my moderate. Yeah, you would. Talk think. wasn't moderate, babe. I guess because maybe the transplant is natural. Uh. It's no, not. it's not. They're not shooting you up with something. Oh, like, but you know, they probably shoot you up with all kinds of things before you get the kidney transplant. Yeah, you should. Yeah, you have to take all sorts of like you know uh, anal blockers or whatever. Or not anal blockers, beta blockers, mm. anal blockers, <laughs> um, whatever. Yeah, like, <laughs> and uh, so that seems weird. But that being said, um, I, I I'm fine with it, but I want to take this a step further. I think, look, if you're pregnant. If you're holding a little baby boy in your belly, right? Mm. Imagine that. Yeah. You got this baby. He's kicking you <laughs> and saying, hey, whore, I want out of here. And you're like, oh, I got to go to the hospital. We don't deliver your baby if you're not vaccinated. Mm. I, I'll be the doctor. Hello, ma'am. Doctor, my water broke. I need to give birth to this baby. Fucking A. Cool. All right, let me see your vaccine card. I'm not vaccinated. Okay, here's, here's, I, I want to let you know something. If you don't fucking get vaccinated right now, I'm going to let that baby die in your gut. <laughs> Wouldn't the baby just come out, though? I'll, I'll block up your pussy with oatmeal. <laughs> Clog it up with dry oatmeal. Look, Mez, <laughs> if you don't get vaccinated, we're going to tie your pussy close. <laughs> I mean, we just can't allow a baby to come in the world unvaxxed. And also your asshole. Yeah, I mean, cause, like, can a baby come out of an asshole? I know it doesn't typically, <laughs> but like, no. Is, no? No, they're in complete. They're in different if, parts of the body. What if we had sewn the pussy shut? It wouldn't then decide to come out of the asshole. It might start biting its. It way would probably th- rip the pussy open. What if it started biting its way through like the body and then it came out the asshole? Oh my god! Can that happen? Uh, I I don't think so because babies don't have teeth when they're that young. Oh, that's good. That's good. Good point. <laughs> Can they, think, can they start ripping up their hands? I mean, that's like the one problem I take with it. Like, <laughs> like that baby had teeth. They would come out of that asshole. Yeah. But uh, they don't. Yeah. Um, I don't I, know. Do you think uh, that's too harsh? Too harsh what? Biting through the asshole? <laughs> we'll plug, plug it up the pussy? I, don't, I, I think the... Uh, it seems odd. It seems... I mean... I guess they're worried that if you don't get the vaccine, then you'll get COVID and your kid. No, yeah, I don't get it. 
I mean, it seems barbaric. It seems a little harsh, but it's like I guess there's maybe it's for the staff of the hospital because they're digging around inside of you. I don't think that's how you get COVID. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't think you can get COVID from digging around, digging around inside someone's innards? I can't you? It's like a respiratory thing. I guess if you open the law, I mean, if you're doing a real bad job and you're, you're like, you're, I thought you were doing a kidney transplant. Like, I am. Like, why are her lungs ripped open? <laughs> <laughs> well, can't you get COVID sexually? I mean, I don't think from cum. I think maybe, like, while you're having sex, you. I, I know, like, you know, we like to kiss during sex. Yeah. Give each other little kisses. Mm. That could give you COVID. Okay. Maybe cum could give you COVID. I don't know. Can, can cum <laughs> give you COVID? We demand answers. Yeah. Fauci, where are you on this? Where's Fauci? We need, we need a fucking... You know, that's, this way they'll, he'll go on the Try Guys, but not on this show. Yeah, the Try... The, Fucking try guys. Mm. Oh, we're gonna eat the entire menu of Burger King and then talk to this guy about fucking. Disease. How about you know we're, we're actually dealing with issues on this show. Yeah, anyway. does come give you COVID? Right, right. <laughs> and can you get it from digging around inside someone? <laughs> what if you so a pussy shit with oatmeal? <laughs> will Will he come out of the asshole? <laughs> um, and there's another there's another story about this, right? Uh, there was an, well, there was another kidney story. So this is the day of kidneys. Yeah, there was a, some writer wrote a she wrote about her experience giving a kidney to some stranger, and then her friend uh, subtweeted her in a short story where she called her a white savior. Okay, okay. so a woman uh, was on a Facebook group, right? Yeah, a writer. A writer, according to herself. According, yeah, according to her, yeah. The right the writer is the first one. They're both writers. So some sleazy romance writer, probably. Yeah. Okay. Goes into a Facebook group that she's part of, and she starts bragging about how she gave a kidney to someone. Yeah. The person she gave it to is white. Okay. But, but then she, her friend took But she's gushing about this. She's going like, look, she starts posting something like, hey, all, I just want to let you know why I'm a fucking top-notch bitch. Yeah. Uh, she I, said something about how, like, yeah, you know, a lot of people donate a kidney to their friend or their family, but to me, strangers are just as important. Disgusting, first of all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I let strangers die. Yeah. In my world. Mm. Unless it's COVID, then I, I, I take the vaccine for them. Oh, sure. Yeah. I'm not making the case for the anti-vax. I, but otherwise, I would never give an organ to a stranger. I mean, that's not true. I, I would give my fucking, you know, a lung to a little baby. A lung? <laughs> yeah. I give my lung to a little baby. <laughs> if a little baby needs a lung, I give him one. Would they let me? I, I, I've smoked before. Was that a problem? Well, I guess maybe. Look, I, I guess a, a semi-functioning lung. What kind of parent would take my lung for their baby? <laughs> <laughs> look at me. Go, this, this guy. <laughs> Not even just like, I just, I just want to find a cute baby and go, hey, I want to make an agreement with you. If he ever needs a lung, I'll transplant it to you. <laughs> I think he deserves a, to have a backup. <laughs> What do you think of that? Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, well, we appreciate the gesture. I actually had my lung taken out and put on ice. Just in anticipation. <laughs> yeah. Here it is. <laughs> Take it. Thanks. Take it. Thanks. Take my lung. <laughs> um, so she starts gushing about this on Facebook. Yeah, she's bragging about it. I'm a fucking, I ain't a slut. I did this nice thing. And, uh, and so her friend, who's yeah. also a writer, right. writes this short story. It basically takes the story but changes it so that the recipient is Asian. Asian. Right. And, and writes a story about the, her friend being sort of like a white savior, uh, you know, obnoxious woman who is self-congratulating. She says a bunch of racist shit to the Asian woman after giving her a kidney. <laughs> like what, what does she say? <laughs> well, it's like she says something about how it's like her furniture is like exotic or something. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? This is so crazy. Yeah. I mean, I, I, but then she's also being sued. Now, yeah, and so the first woman, the woman who bragged about giving the kidney, sued the woman who wrote the short story. Crazy. Said it was plagiarism. So she's being. Can you sue someone for plagiarism on Facebook? I don't know. That's a good question. You just, like, people getting sued for like, like you know, uh, <laughs> plagiarizing their uh, horse horse paste uh, posts. <laughs> Some guys like. Ivermectin's not horse paste. Hey, you plagiarizing me. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm I'm very sus about anyone who donates a kidney. Um, how do you know you're not going to need a kidney? That's the thing. Yeah. 
I mean, my kidneys aren't in great shape. I drink a lot of Diet Coke. <laughs> um, you want one of my kidneys? Did you want to switch kidneys? Yes. Can we do that? Yeah. I mean, if we're the same blood type and even if we're not. Yeah. I mean, we just do surgery ourselves. Yeah. If some guy can do it you in a, a, a hotel bathroom, why can't I do it? Yeah. Or oh, that guy doesn't really leave you alive typically, does he? What if we each exchange half a kidney? Right, cut it in half. Yeah. So it together. It's just a filter. So it does. <laughs> it's just a filter. <laughs> um, I don't know. This yeah, is a very crazy know. story. Um, protesters follow Kristen Cinema into the bathroom. Tell me this story. There's a protester who's followed Kirsten Cinema into a bathroom. This is the one who wears the boots? This is the one. She's blonde. She's, she's the Ar- she Arizona might, she's Senator. She's kind of hot, I guess. She's a hot. Ar- the Arizona Senator. Yeah. Right? Isn't she kind of hot? I mean, compared to Nancy Pelosi, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> who was kind of. people? Weren't people gushing about how hot she was back in the 60s when she put my fuck JFK? Oh, I was talking about that. I showed you the picture of yeah. uh, there was like a young Nancy Pelosi, and she kind of looks like Audrey Hepburn. I mean, that's that, that's the craziest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> and, and she's just standing next to JFK. She's really cute looking. Some people think they fucked. I guess she's not Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> uh, that's insane. You realize how cute Audrey Hepburn was? Yeah, really cute. Look, I'm not saying she could pass for. A, I'm not saying that, that they could switch places like the the, the princess and the. Pop Imagine or. if Audrey Hepburn lived and then she looked like Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> Insane. Yeah, but you're just thinking of old Nancy Pelosi. Yes. You're not thinking of young Nancy Pelosi. I'm saying, cute. imagine, but imagine. It, I'm just saying, think about the horror of like Breakfast at Tiffany's, and then and you turn it off, and, you know, and then it's Nancy Pelosi. You're like, I'm that girl, <laughs> and you, you you stop believing in God. <laughs> You you think, yes, I believe. You think O.G. Hepburn fucked Kennedy? Um, maybe. I mean, I, I, apparently she was sort of a bad bitch. I don't know if she'd be. You she, think Ruth Bader Ginsburg fucked Kennedy? Would she, wouldn't she be dead now? If she had, what? Wouldn't she be dead, Audrey Hepburn? Well, I guess she is dead, but yeah. not of natural causes. Right. That's a good point. Uh, you think Ruth or G.B. did? Wait, is there a rumor about that? No. <laughs> <laughs> you think Hillary Clinton fucked Kennedy? Yeah. Yeah. You think Bill Clinton did? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Michael Lewinsky. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's like, this kid. Was she even alive? No. She, would have been she alive. wouldn't have been. She would have been alive. No, she wouldn't have been. She, she would have totally be... been alive. She How... was 21 when she fucked Bill Clinton. That was 95, let's just say? That was 95. 75. All right, man. All right, all right. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Um, yeah, so anyway, some protesters followed her into the oh, bathroom. Oh, so they followed Kristen Cinema, who didn't fuck Kennedy, into the bathroom. Yes. And what happened? Um, <laughs> <laughs> they they <laughs> fucked me. <laughs> she started fucking him? What happens? <laughs> Tell me the story. They were they were just protesting something. I think it was like DACA or something. Anyway. She did. You start protesting DACA by watching her take a shit? <laughs> She's just taking a big fucking like sour cream and onion dip shit. <laughs> She's eating a bunch of chips in the, in, the, in her congressional office like a big dumb bitch. Well, I don't think they watched her take a shit. Well, I mean, I, I, what's the protest? The only way you protest in the bathroom is watching someone take a shit. <laughs> you just peek over the side of the, of the fucking of the stall and you go, "We're just gonna watch." Because the worst thing in the world is to be watched while you're taking a shit. That I can't imagine the worst thing than someone watching me while I take a shit. Yeah, couldn't stand it. I I, I would sign the Patriot Act if you watch me take a shit. I would hate it. I'm trying to shit here, and then you have to. And you have to go so bad. But like, I'm not going to shit while you're here. That's worse than Guantanamo Bay. Yeah. No, I mean uh, that should be a new strategy. Just watch. Peeking, Put cameras in the stalls. Peeking on people in the in the, sh- in the crapper. And then edit them. It, you know why it's called a crapper, by the way? <laughs> why? It was invented by a guy named Crapper. <laughs> Is that true? I always heard this, but I think. I, no, the guy who meant it was named Crapper. But I forget if that's an urban myth or not. John Crapper. John. Have you ever heard this? I've, I've never heard that. I think it's true. Okay, I, I believe you. Anyway. Um, but anyway, yeah. So do they kill her or something? <laughs> yeah, they, they murdered her. All right. Uh, and changed the world. Cool. <laughs> I don't know. Would you? Do you think that's going too far? 
Yeah. I mean, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's a little too far. I mean, one time I was at, like, this event, and I went into the bathroom, and there were a bunch of, like, lady stalls, and there were just these two gross bitches. One of them, one of them was pissing with the door open <laughs> so, so she could talk to the other one. <laughs> and, like, I passed them, and I, like, I turned my head away, like, thinking she was going to, like, quickly close the door, but she was like, I'm just talking to my friend over here. Sorry about that. How old were they? Uh, probably in their 20s. Wow. I mean, where was this? I, it was at some fucking thing. I mean, maybe it was a wedding. Really? Yeah. But it's like the bride was doing this. <laughs> the bride just pissing. The photographer's there, and you're going like, "What? I'm only shooting from the waist up. Don't worry. Don't get pissed on the on the garter belt. We gotta fucking use that later." So some people don't care about what. Some people won't be intimidated. I mean, people can watch me piss, but not shit. Yeah, shit's dirty. Piss is clean. That's how I feel, at least. Uh, how do you, what, what do you think about piss and shit? I mean, look, being forced to let someone watch me take a shit is worse. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's all sticky. Yeah. I mean, if, it's, if I'm taking a nice wet dump, <laughs> that's fine. But, I mean, if, if, I'm, if, I'm, if it's sticking, if it's, like, pinching. Yeah. Mm, I'll fucking sign your treaty. Yeah, that's why the, the political move should be to record it and then send it to them. That's Ooh. sort of like a warning. Oh. <laughs> uh. Wait, you better... Fr- these, do- isn't Doc of the Dreamers... Yeah. Yeah. These dreamers. <laughs> you better let these dreamers come to America. <laughs> these, these, the, <laughs> if you don't let these dreamers come to America, we're going to let everyone know that you shit. <laughs> I don't know. Well, well, what's her deal anyway? Who is she? She's the Republican? She's like a Republican-ish Democrat. That's a good move. Yeah. I mean, that's the best. Honestly, the best move is to join a party and do the opposite shit of the party. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just be like, hey, I'm a, I'm a Republican, but I'm just fucking like wearing Che shirts. <laughs> Che Guevara shirts, and I'm just fucking listening to, uh, what's the socialist band? Rage Against the Machine, I guess. Oh, is they are they socialist? Oh, for sure. But I mean, is there more like what are the socialist like your Pussy so- Riot? Do your leftist friends listen to Pussy Riot? No, nobody actually listens to Pussy. What do leftist Riot? people listen to? Um, uh, <laughs> um, what do they listen to? Probably just fucking Billy Dillinger, Bragg, Dillinger Escape Plan, and Billy Bragg. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> anyway, well, this has been great. Do you have anything to promote? I uh, know. Do you? No. Listen to the Patreon. Uh, yeah. You get an extra episode every week and then uh, we're doing great and we're glad to be back. We're going to be back again next week. Everything's great. Everything's phenomenal. Have a great week. <laughs>